stuff you guys Nuke 3 and staying with the game from July 2016 magazine. So yeah, I'm sure to you. So uh before I start this video, be sure I just want to tell you guys to be sure to like this video on my channel and sorry I couldn't get this video uploaded like a few days ago. I was like busy and stuff, you know, I was trying to upload it a few days ago, but yeah. So you got front called the Warfare looks interesting campaign, you know, it's showed that Sony E2016. You know, what Sony did, so yeah, yeah. and they showed out a boost too and stuff, but yeah. The campaign looks interesting, so I'm gonna pick this game up later. But we'll see. Sorry for my like conversion, but I have to, you know, I don't have that much space unfortunately. So you got against the fire rewards cards. Games right here, you guys know all these games, Battle of One, Persona Five, I'm sure what these end doom, Overwatch. I know some people don't know these games, but most of you guys do, of course, probably. You got Zelda Breath of the Wild. And uh, uh, uh sequel DLC. Destiny Rise of Iron, it's coming out September. Which I told you guys on the video, I think I didn't I think it when I not announced the video or I mean when I uploaded the video I like told you guys that there was a release for it. I don't remember it. Unfortunately I don't remember. You know, there's a lot of things going on in my head, you know. You got Star Wars respawn. You know. The Le Legend of Zelda on Wii U, Disney. Spark Primal. Do genres mean anything anymore? I'm not sure if it does. <laughs> Quantum Break. If it's one exclusive, of course, you gotta already know. Half Life 2, Episode 2, which we're going to, unfortunately, we'll probably never get Half Life 3. But we will probably get Left 4 Dead 3 because it got, it got leaked. Like, like, a, like yesterday. I was going to do a video on it, but you know, I'll just tell you guys here. So yeah, and also Sonic the Hedgehog, there's going to be new Sonic King coming next year, so that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't feel like doing a video on it, so, but yeah, I just want to tell you guys. And Mid Legends 2. This game's expensive now, but it, 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 I, oh yeah, here's Alan Wake. I might pick the game up later, but I might. I'm excited for Red Ash, the spiritual, the spiritual successor to Mega Man Legends. But well, hopefully, it doesn't turn out bad like Mighty Number no. Nine, you guys. So hopefully, it doesn't turn out bad like Mighty Number no. Nine. Hope it does not, because that game kind of looks interesting. We got Red Ash. So uh, yeah, and uh, I got some other games right here. Uh, got this. Give you more. Where is that? Yeah, this is right. Yeah, there's Evie Moore. You know, he's at E3, of course. Uh, yeah, Infinite Warfare. <laughs> Pages. Uh, this is kind of like gonna take long, isn't it? No, it's okay, guys. A lot of stuff in here. I will take the time to read them later, so you guys can't really see this. You know, I'm sorry guys, like, it's not the best quality ever, but... Bathwood 1. Probably do a boxing of that when it comes out. Inside, which came on Tuesday for Xbox One, I, I think it's not on PC this month, probably. I don't know. I don't remember that one of that. Man, I'm in FL17, I don't really like sports games. Got this. Team Mario Civilization 6. And Setsuna. This game's coming out in uh, July 19th, 2016, of course, for PS4 and uh, I think PC. I forgot. I don't know. I forgot for some reason. But uh, the downfall for this is that uh, it's going to be digital only, I believe, so it won't have a physical release. But I, I, I could be wrong. There could be a physical release for it, but I don't know. Because last time I heard, there's no physical release of it. I'll have to support that. But low. Skyline of Imaginers, if Crash Bandicoot's going to be here, they show, Sony show announced at E3. And it's also gonna be a Crash Bandicoot reboot, which I did show. I did tell you guys on the E3 2016 announcements, you know, or I forgot or whatever the reboot was called. But uh, yeah, I'm not a big Skylanders fan. Skylanders fan, but yeah, you got NASCAR Heat Evolution, Persona 5, Star Ocean Integrity, Integrity and Faithlessness, which just came out on Tuesday, and Grand Kingdom and the Technomancer and many other games, you know. But I didn't get this game because, you know, the reviews for it weren't too good. I'll pick up later, though, because I usually don't trust reviews. But, you know, I just didn't have money to pick it up. But, uh, yeah. So, probably my next real game boxing or release is probably No Man's Sky, probably. But we'll see. But uh, I heard this game make, it has more, makes you more, it makes you get sick, dizzy, you know. Like, there's motion sickness. So, that kind of sucks. But, you know, I think they crashed it. I don't know if they can. Manifold Garden. 
and the Finita Collection, which I pick up the other all three of the Dead Island games later for 360. And I don't know if I'm gonna pick this up because the thing is, on the PS4 version of the Definitive Collection, the, to get Reptide and Retro, you have to use the code for which kind of name. Like on Xbox One, it's on one disc. So why isn't it on one disc on PS4 also? I'm not sure what, what what's up with that. Is he silver? And uh, I wonder what's happening with the Island too. But yeah, Ruiner, uh, Atlas Reactor. So quick thoughts. Monster Hunter Generations. I'm not sure if I pronounced it up right, but whatever. Got Overwatch. And, uh, Overwatch and Doom 8.75. 8. Uh, Only Spirit of the HD Remake, which I'll probably pick this up too, probably, or the original version, we'll see. Got 8. 9.25 for The Witcher 3, 500 Blood and Wine DLC. It's pretty cool. Battleborn got a 6. Home for the Revolution got a 4, because, you know, all the glitches and stuff. Mm-hmm. Try for these end at point five. Well do of course obviously Home for the Revolution got patches, but yeah. Eight point twenty five for sellers. And uh Throw War Warhammer, eight point seventy five because you know. I never played Throw War games before because you know, I don't have a good PC. Well my brother does, but you know, I just don't I don't play PC gaming that much. I don't play PCs that much. But yeah. Got Kirby, Planet Robo Robobot, got an eight on the 3DS and uh, yeah, some more stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much the uh, Game Informer magazine for July 2016. So, be, like I said, be sure to like, share, some my channel, you guys, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. And uh, yeah, see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye. And uh, I didn't show the back because my address is on there, but you know, you get the point. We'll see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.